guys, welcome back to Linda's Pantry. So tonight, I'm just gonna throw together a quick and easy, kind of a jambalaya feel to it, um, a little stew to go over some brown rice, and we're gonna love it. It's gonna have chicken and sausage and shrimp and vegetables out of the garden. So it might not be traditional vegetables for this, but it's gonna be delicious, and I hope it brings you along for the ride. So I do wanna bring up the fact that um, it's been brought to my attention client brought it up today when she came in to get her hair done that she looked at my videos and saw you know some political ads that she wasn't in agreement with and I'm like I don't have control over that and I also had subscribers mention it so my videos are monetized I don't control what goes on prior to nor necessarily is it my belief system but you know, if you don't like them, just plan on spending 30 sec seconds doing something else. And uh, I hope it doesn't stray you away from my channel because they are everywhere on TV and on YouTube. And so, anyways, that being said, the recipe, eh, it's not an exact recipe, it, you know, once again, Linda's Pantry. But it's going to be good. I hope you stay. hope you hit the like button. hope you um, maybe go over to my Facebook page in the description box below. If there's any related videos like my uh, other jambalaya recipe, I'll do that as a video response. So when you see those, go ahead and take a look at them. All right, guys, let's do hey it. Hey, guys, I'm glad you stayed along for the ride. So we're going to make this. It's going to be a, kind of a jambalaya, but I'm really using what I have out of the garden. So I've got a yellow squash, a zucchini some uh, yellow onion. We've got um, a turkey linguisa, which I'm excited to try. It's a really low fat, only 5% fat. I have boneless, skinless chicken thighs here. We're gonna use some of our chicken fat to start the browning process. And some of our homemade chicken stock right there. And I also have some shrimp that are gonna go in, but I believe that I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do the, and I'm doing it in my smaller bean pot Dutch oven, um, because I really want, here, I really want to try to keep it on the small side. Not that that's going to work, but I'm going to try. So, um, we're going to go ahead and open the chicken fat, um, which cat's cradle and actually I think the first time I saw this on YouTube, it was um, Sky Bird Bird. So she introduced me to the whole thing and then Cat's Cradle brought it up. I think Maureen's brought it up. Um, anyway, it's a, I know it's not um, a healthy fat, but in moderation. So about a tablespoon, a little over, to start the browning process and you can always drain that off. Um, I just, I know that I cooked this chicken, it was organic, and I know it's okay. So I'm going to get this heating on the stove, and we're going to bring you over there as well, but I've got my veg all chopped up, and the spices are going to be pretty amazing, uh, but we're going to set the vegetables aside, and we'll get to the next part. The next part, we got to get busy with the meat end of it. And I'm not going to use all this chicken because uh, I don't need all of it. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to get this rinsed, and we're going to separate what we're going to use tonight, and I'll bring you right back and we'll chop this up. I'll probably have it all cubed by the time we get back. See you in a minute. Okay guys, now we get to put the meat down in there. And I just cut up the linguisa, the turkey linguisa, and the chicken thighs. And the thighs are going to give it all that flavor, and the linguisa is going to give it the spice. And because I am low on peppers, um, I am probably going to replace the peppers with uh, some jalapenos that I have out of the garden. I don't have you know, all the peppers. I might go ahead and use a few dehydrated just so I have that pepper flavor we like to have in this dish. This is kind of my garden jambalaya kind of thing. Normally I wouldn't put um, 
the zucchini and yellow squash in there either, but I'm going to. So I'm, I'm going to add some red pepper flakes just to start that little bit of heat going on. This is going to be delicious. You guys, you got to make this. It's going to be fabulous. I even, I only used um, three cut up thighs and one long link of that linguisa. So for a big pot, I probably would have used both in its entirety, but I'm not going to. All right, so now we need some spice. I want some ground paprika, about a tablespoon. We're going to add some... Where's my cayenne? Got to have some kick here. Yeah, we'll just do the Cajun. How about the Cajun seasoning? If I can get it open, we'll do Cajun. There we go. Add it to the spot. Hopefully. It's not great. Trying to open these little containers sometimes are a pain. So we want about oh, a teaspoon or so of the Cajun spice. And I'm using the blackened seasoning, Zataran. And uh, now we've got that going. And this is kind of a quick dish if you, you know, if you plan right. Because if I don't plan it right tonight, and we don't eat in an hour or so. Um, this is gonna be leftovers. Look at all that color already. Doesn't that look delicious? Okay, so I'm probably not gonna add any salt till later, um, just because I'm I'm good on the salt factor. So while that's going, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up some jalapeno and get out some dehydrated red bell pepper. And I'll bring you back when this is ready to make okay, the next step. So now I'm ready to put my stock in. The meat is pretty much all the way cooked. The veg have kind of, you know, they've sauteed down. I did add some homemade garlic powder. And you know what? Just because I can, and this reminds me of Misty Shooter, I'm adding some more Zatarans in. Here's for you, Misty. <laughs> I, I don't think that I had really tasted it much prior to her videos, and I thought, well, I gotta see what that girl's got going on. Anyway, oh, so good. Oh, it's gonna be delicious. Okay, now I'm gonna add in a good handful of, these were uh, fire roasted um, and then dehydrated, maybe two handfuls, or a handful and a half of red bell pepper that I got on sale last year for, I think it was 10 for a dollar I got those, or two, maybe it was, I don't know, 20 cents a piece, I don't remember. It was ridiculous. And I dehydrated a bunch, and now we're reaping the benefit of last year's deal. And then, while this is gonna go, I've got my two, I've got my chicken stock here. I'm going to go ahead and pour that in, make sure you can see that, the homemade chicken stock. And see, you can see it's kind of congealed because this one's been in the fridge. And so it, the collagen kind of gels up. This one I just opened, it's brand new, it's not been, there you go. And we'll put that in there. It already looks and smells so good. Look at that. How about that? You pull some things out of your pantry in your garden, pull it together, and what do you got? Winner, winner, mmm, jambalaya dinner. Anyway, a jambalaya on a different note, but I'm going to put the lid on this and let it simmer for about mm, 20 minutes. That should be enough time for the, um, pe uh, the red bell pepper to go ahead and soften up and rehydrate and lend out its flavor. Um, and it, it probably will still have a little texture to it, but I like that. It's okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and I was going to add brown rice, 
but I think I have, because it's getting late, I have brown rice and quinoa in the freezer. I think I'm going to throw that in there. It'll make it extra healthy and it'll be done. So in 20 minutes we're going to be eating dinner. So I'll be back as soon as I start adding that. Okay guys, I'll be right back. Okay, so I am ready. The rice and the quinoa have rehydrated. It smells incredible in here. And so what I've got here is a really nice, oh, it's probably, I don't know, feels like a pound of prawns. But, you know, I didn't really figure it out, so we're just going to put those on, turn this off, and we're going to heat it through. And there you go. That's our dinner. Does that look delicious? Winner, winner. Mmm, jambalaya garden dinner okay so we're just gonna let that heat through and really what's already hot in the pot is gonna heat those shrimp through they're thawed and they don't need any cooking they're pre-cooked so I did take advantage of that and then I'm gonna dish it up and I'll bring you over and let you see what happens I am so excited although when I toasted off this bread I took a bite of it and it gave me the hiccups, <laughs> so I don't know, I might have some residual hiccups from that, but I'm going to dish this up, the brown rice, the quinoa, actually the red peppers rehydrated perfect, and I'm, I'm really happy to see that because, you know, we all wonder if it's all going to work out in the end, and so, anyway. It did. There you go. We got chicken, and to recap, brown rice, quinoa, uh, zucchini, yellow squash. I know these aren't traditional vegetables for in here, but this is my garden and pantry. We might call this my garden and pantry jambalaya. It, it really... Oh, smells and looks amazing so let's take a bite <clears throat> and we'll hope for no hiccups <laughs> and I'm gonna zoom you in so you get a real close-up of what's going on okay I'm gonna take a bite and I'm gonna grab some veg some uh, shrimp some I think that's all I can put in my mouth. Let's try that and we'll see how it happens. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mmm. You have to know. Mmm. That is so so good. I hope you try this. I hope you don't, you know, stay in your little box that you're in. I truly hope this inspires you to step outside the box, try something new. You know what? Come back and see me. I've got some new recipes and I'll always step outside the box for you. Okay, guys. God bless.